Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Sam and I'm with two boys. Um, I live in my dressing gown, I am dressed under here but we like to be comfy and cosy on this channel. So I'm going to do something I don't think I've done before. I'm not sure if I've done a video dedicated to slow cooker meals or not. Um, but if I haven't then this is my first. I'm going to try something that I've never done before with a slow cooker which is called dump bags. So. The idea of these is that you kind of do all your prep on one day and then you either leave them in, um, this is still just been held me because we're doing a Sunday dinner today and he's been doing some extra prep for me of the veggies that are hard. Um, so what a dump bag essentially is, it'll be one of these filled with, or two of them, filled with everything you need for that meal. So obviously you can keep probably three of those in the fridge at one time. If you're having to, if you're wanting to make more than three, then you'll have to freeze the rest. Um, I have cheated a little bit this week. I have bought these. Just been to Aldi, so I did buy these. So these are like the seasoning packets because I couldn't remember what I've got in the cooker, in the cupboard and stuff, and I was already in Aldi. Um, so I've got a beef casserole, a spaghetti bolognese. Um, I'm not even sure if I'll use this one or if I'll use my own. And sausage casserole. So these are the meals that I'm going to do. So I also bought, um, which I'll link down below off Amazon. I don't know where the big packet of gum has gone. So I bought these off Amazon, which I'll, like I say, I'll link them down below. I do know that you can get these in like B&M and stuff, but this was a really good price. So this has got 25 in here. And these are slow cooker liners. So basically it's a bag for your slow cooker. Now, for me, these mean that I don't have to have the hassle of scrubbing a slow cooker um, every night because if now I've gone back to work, obviously, or I'm trialing working, I'm wanting to trial um, meal prep and things like that to help ease the home life once I'm home from work. So I bought these so that I don't, if I'm using the slow cooker every night or if I'm using it like um, two nights in a row, say, or even three nights in a row, that I'm not having to wash it all before I get prepped for the next morning. You kind of pull your liner out, do you know what I mean? Dish your food up, take your liner out and throw it away. Um, these are also good for another little hack for them is if you were wanting to make, say, Something that I will do more into we get into winter is um, like rice pudding. You can do rice pudding. So if you've got a big slow cooker like I have, I've got one of the giant ones. You can actually use two bags in your slow cooker as long as you make sure that this middle part isn't going to like collapse into each other. Um, or you could use it for if you wanted to cook your veggies and stuff separate to then in your dish because sometimes like. The kids won't eat all the veggies that I would necessarily eat with my meal, so having a separate bag with some of the veggies that I will just eat um, works really well. And so, what I'm going to do next is, all of these will have onions in. So some of them will be bigger chunky onions. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to leave them as big chunky ones so the kids can pick them out. Right, get down and out please. Get down and out please. Are they cookies? No, they're not cookies. So, so the sausage casserole and the stew will have big chunky onions in. Obviously with them being on slow all day, um, they don't have to be finely chopped. I've also bought myself two smart plugs so that if I know it, does, I does, it doesn't necessarily need to be on all day, if I'm doing a longer day at work when Alfie's at after school club, I can turn it on from my phone. So I've just set a reminder on my phone to turn the slow cooker on and use those. I'll link them down below as well because they weren't that expensive. So for the spaghetti bolognese, I'm gonna probably get another one of these out. Also an idea for if you have a big slow cooker is, also with the slow cooker something you can do is you can double batch. So if you have a large slow cooker like I do, I could essentially make a double batch of each one of these. So 
enough to feed us but all twice so essentially six portions or maybe eight because these normally serve four pers four people and then freeze the other portion so so I've got spaghetti bolognese bag now um, in here we've got very family diced carrots, onions, um, celery and mush diced mushrooms and then I've got larger mushrooms for me which I'll eat on the side if you either have fussy children, if you have fussy children or if you are struggling with um, dexterity in your hands and things and really struggle to chop um, and can't really afford say prepped veg and things like that, my next step would be, um, which is what I may do if I end up making these a lot and bagging them into the freezer, is using my food processor. So. Um, add your onions in, all you have to do is take the skins off and ends off, same with like carrots and stuff, and pulse. Now if your machine doesn't have a pulse on, you just turn it on back, backwards and forwards so it gives it a pulse, and it will basically finely chop. You can obviously chop it to as fine as you like. Um, carrots and harder veg don't overload it, um, because obviously they're a harder veg, so it'll throw them around the machine a bit more. Um, so you can definitely do things like this, all this fine stuff in the food processor. So I'm going to add in, now you could leave these separate, but because I'm doing the prep all today, I'm going to add, I'm going to, if I was adding all my own like garlic and seasoning and stuff, I would add it into the bag right now anyway. I want to not follow a recipe, so, <laughs> um, but if you are, there is loads and loads, like I say, on Pinterest and things like that. So. The only thing to be cautious of is how much water to add. Now, I always say, or I always personally do, is add less water than the mixture states. If you are cooking in a slow cooker, because it will not boil and evaporate off, or you can't reduce it down, should I say, by boiling, um, because the lid keeps the steam in. So, because it keeps that steam in, it get re the moisture on the lid will re go into your thing, Rob. So, Add a, obviously a little bit less than your um, than your recipe suggests. Now, if I was freezing these, I would throw the meat in there as well. So I take it out of this packaging and put it in here. Now you can easily buy frozen um, meat and add it to these bags as well, which may work out again cutting the price down. So tomorrow's one, I'm going to do the sausage casserole, which is this one. So. No, it's not. This one. So, I'm going to do sausage casserole tomorrow in the slow cooker. So, I'm going to add its packet and I'm going to actually add in um, now you can always write on the front of these bags how much water is needed in the recipe. I'm going to add my sausages in. Once I've done it, I will, so what I've, oh gosh, I realise you cannot see me there. So like I say, I've added them all in. Start to seal your bag up till there's probably a tiny little bit left, an inch maybe. Squeeze all the air out. It's better for storage and space in your fridge. And this is my first dump bag ready. It's near enough vacuum packed to kind of feel because I've, I've squeezed all that extra air out. This one is spaghetti bolognese, which is going to be Tuesdays. So I'm going to put my... Now I am going to break this up, this um, mincemeat, because I don't want it to stay chunky in there. So what I'm going to do is just pull it all apart. So with the um, sausage casserole, I'm, I want to try mashing the slow cooker, but I'm not going to try it the first time because I'm just a little bit nervous. Um, so this just needs the water obviously, so this one's going to go in the fridge again right the way across and then this one I'm going to put in the freezer because I'm home Wednesday which would be my third fridge day and um, this is probably going to be Fridays so I'm going to add in and I'm going to get Dylan to attempt dumplings and put them in because he'll be home before I am from school. So I'm going to add in my 
packet in here. Now, the only thing with this is, I'm not sure how, do you know like potatoes, if they don't go in water, they go brown. I'm not sure how they'll last in here, diced. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fill it. Again, I'm gonna try and squeeze as much air as out as possible. But all I need is to write on how much uh, water goes in this, which is, so this says 425 mils. So I'm gonna put 350 in there because I prefer my stew to be thicker. And I'm just going to write stew. Careful if you do it this way not to pierce your bag. Um, it's good to write the date as well. The 11th of the 10th. And that is going to go in the freezer and we're going to dump it in on the day. So make sure that it's really well sealed. There's a little bit of air in there. I'm going to just open that back up. I don't think I sealed it properly. So... You really need to make sure they're well sealed so that no freezer bag gets in there, freezer frost. That is my stew ready to go on the day. I really hope this all made sense um, when I come to edit this. And if you enjoy these kind of things or want some more meal inspiration ideas for the slow cooker, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. Or just hit that thumbs up bell and I'll keep an eye out on that. And I shall see you all really soon in my next video. Goodbye.